As every scientist claims, safety is the number one priority. Even though you are vigilant enough, mistakes tend to happen quite often and there is nothing you can do to avoid it. All you can do is educate yourself to stay calm and act intelligently in such situations. This is what I did when his boot was filled with molten lead. What molten lead in boots? How did this happen? And what led to such a situation? Continue watching the video till the end to know more. All these molten metal accident stories keep on happening and reminding me of one such incident that happened at an old client's battery recycling facility from many years ago. They processed lead acid batteries, mostly from automobiles, so a lot of vats have used sulfuric acid and molten lead. As for the work area where this incident happened, which might have been one of the steps where dross is pulled off to be processed separately, splashes of molten lead were somewhat normal and expected. However, that should never be a danger to any of the workers since they stood on an elevated platform and guard-railed platform to the side, out of the way and made use of long disclosable tools to interact with the melt. And yes, for even more unknown reasons, they had almost all the wrong sizes of PPE on for that shift. The jacket was also too short. Undersized leg protection, oversized boot covers, etc. The gloves and the hood might have been correct, but it was not a factor. I do not think we ever figured out why they did not wear the correct PPE available, and if somehow it was not, that's a valid and accepted reason to not do the shift and still get paid. My only guess is that maybe laziness or not, taking it serious or complacency due to the lack of any recent incidents. Therefore, because the jacket was quite short and the lake protectors had gotten stuck up on the top of the oversized boot covers, that wave of molten lead went directly into their boot and filler it. You might be wondering how bad it could have been to cast your foot in lead and burnt boot mixture. For their privacy and to spare everyone from the gore, I'll just say that it was really, really ugly. The accident was easily avoidable and is a pretty clear example of the Swiss cheese model. This highlights why not only you should use PPE, but more importantly, use the correctly sized PPE and know how to use both the PPE and your equipment safely. The risk assessment of such jobs indicates that protective clothing is a necessity. You should always make sure to consider the following things. Make sure to know which metals are used, which garments are required and which body parts are at risk, the type of material these are made from and their design, and most importantly, their size and fit. It is quite important to involve your employees in this process, as protective clothing also has to be suitable for the wearer and the work they do. Consider different jobs separately as the risk of exposure to molten metal will be different depending upon the tasks being carried out. You should be able to work out which areas of the workers' bodies are at risk of splash. Safety helmets, boots, gloves and safety glasses will almost always be necessary. The garment guide table below shows the likely minimum further clothing required for representative jobs. It is likely that other items of protective equipment will be needed to protect workers fully. They may include safety helmets, kepis or neck guards, gloves, eye protectors, boots and gaiters. Always choose CE marked equipment. There are European standards for equipment which protects against heat, flame and molten metal risks. You may find these useful when you are choosing your equipment. Make sure that the various items of PPE all fit properly when they are worn together. Will you keep these points in mind next time? Did you find the story interesting? Did we miss out on anything? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We would love to get to know your perspective on this matter. Let's discuss these in yet another video, so stay tuned. Well, that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed watching it. If you liked the video, then do make sure to smash the like button and hit the subscribe button too. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of such awesome videos. Until then, see ya!